my youngest brother is Brock Heath. Keith like the candy bar. He is a top offensive guard prospect in the 2025 class. He's got five like power five offers. He's going to get quite a bit more. He's just a junior. What I believe is that within the next two years, when he is sitting down to discuss his NIL deal with a collective at whatever school he commits to or, or what he's attending at the time, in that room will be the collective, will be the athletic director, the, the head coach. There'll be institutional involvement in the room that's being like discussed the terms of his collective agreement. I think that institutional involvement will get closer and closer. Payments will come from a third party. Now that collective will be funded by the foundation of that institution. I believe that's the most sustainable outcome. So Brock Heath will sit down and have his head coach and the athletic department on his side of the table, collective on the other side, collective is a compensating party who's being funded by the foundation, interesting enough, but both sides are working to make sure there's the best outcome for Brock Heath. Now Brock Heath, by the time he gets to his senior year, will receive compensation in the form of a revenue share of conference revenues, likely directly from the conference in exchange for his NIL rights or NIL activations or support of driving to and into conference events. So he will experience a institutional involvement in the collective conversation. And by the end of his career and the year 2030, he will receive compensation that is a revenue share-esque outcome but it will not constitute him as an employee of the conference or the college in which he attends. That is the ideal outcome for the next six, seven years of this industry.